For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. Leaving Kentucky, we headed to Ohio on a Friday with no reservations. We headed up I-75 to Ottawa Metro Park in Lima, Ohio, county park that is first come, first served. We arrived just before noon and were able to find a large pull-through campsite with water and electric hookups. Ottawa Metro Park is one of the parks in the Johnny Appleseed Metropolitan Park District in Allen County, Ohio. It has over 250 acres and lots of recreational activities. So we're taking a walk today in Ohio. We're in Lima, Lima Ohio. We're on the Ottawa uh, campground. It's a county park. I think it's Ottawa Metro Campground. Um, we'll put the link down below. It's a very nice park. They have this 13 mile paved trail that you can bike or walk. We chose to walk today. We did our bikes another day. But it's very pretty. And actually it's a very nice cool day today. Only got up to about 80 degrees. So it's very nice. The bike path through the park was very well maintained. There were nice marble signs along the path that displayed the person's or company name that had sponsored that part of the trail. The trail was over 13 miles and had bridges that went over railroad tracks, a river, and the interstate. There were some wetland areas. Bird houses and ducks in the lake. We rode about five miles and we could see how the trail connected into other parts of the town. A nice feature of the park was Evans Arboretum. An arboretum in general sense is a botanical collection composed exclusively of trees. There were many kinds of trees including a clone from the first Red Delicious Apple and one from a tree planted by Johnny Appleseed himself. I enjoyed walking through the Arboretum, as many of the trees were new to me. They don't grow in Florida. We're on to using the gray water dump. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't have comment. <laughs> Please grill. Ottawa Metro Park RV camp area. I mean, it's just a big parking lot type thing, but it's really nice. It's clean, well maintained. Um, you gotta, you know. It's a big deal if the electric and the water both work. And if you're over 60, it's only 20 bucks a night. So Rhonda just cleaned the grill. We're packing it up this morning, headed up to Lake Erie. Yeah, the more Places you go to, the more weird water faucets you see. <laughs> Heavy duty, but... And ours is on the opposite side of where it should be. But whatever, 50 foot hose, no problem. Anyway, it's... Um, there's actually a really nice trail, walking or biking trail, that goes off in that direction. It goes over a river. Um, basically, I think it even goes over Interstate 75, which we're hearing a little bit this morning. But it was a nice quiet weekend. These, par these camp spots here over the weekend were filled with 
families with little kids uh, and there's a lot of room back there so the kids can just roam around and have fun. But um, it's Monday morning so we're headed off. They have a dump station here. It basically is first come first serve so that's one thing you need to know. We got here early on Friday and had our choice there was a 25 percent of the spots were open but by the friday evening it was full people had to came in and left so during the week you can see it's maybe half this person here seems to be a working guy and so he's gone all day we enjoyed our weekend rested and got ready to head to michigan we did have one small hiccup. While driving to the park, our check engine light came on. Joe did some research and he bought an OBD code reader. It was um, a little over $80. He ran the diagnostic and reset the engine light and everything seems to be fine now. Owning an RV is just like owning a home. There's always something to fix. It is so wonderful traveling with a partner who has the ability to fix things on the road. Thank you, Joe. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel.